Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to control a bipolar step remoter on the Arduino using the TB6600 micro step driver. This controller takes up to 42 volts, can handle up to 4 amps, and has built in micro stepping with up to 6400 steps. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the step remoter from MakeBlock, model number 4Y2BG, which takes 12 volts and has a resolution of 1.8 degrees per step. Other materials include the Arduino Uno, a variable power supply, and a bunch of jumper wires. As for tools, you'll need a flathead screwdriver for the screw terminals and possibly a multimeter to test the motor leads. Okay, if you take a look at the stepper motor, there should be four wires. These correspond to the four leads of the two coils inside the motor. Before we make any connections, it's important to determine which leads belong to which set. To do this, grab your multimeter and set it to the continuity function. Then just take any two wires and test it. If they're part of the same wire, you'll hear the beep sound. By default, the other two will form the other pair. Once you determine which wires form which set, I recommend taping them together. Okay, time for the connections. I'm gonna step through this rather quickly, but the schematic will be in the description below. Okay, first the power of the controller goes to the power supply. And there's a total of five ground connections, three for the enable, pulse, and direction, one that goes to the power source ground, and the other from the Arduino. For the motor, I've attached the red and blue leads to the A pair, and the green and black leads to the B pair. Now it doesn't matter which pair you set as A or B, swapping these will just switch the direction polarity and you can easily fix this later via software. For the Arduino, I've chosen digital pins 8 for enable, 9 for direction, and 10 for pulse. Alright, that completes the connections. Let's move on to the software. The Arduino code can be downloaded from my GitHub page and contains two files, stepper and example. The stepper file has the global variables as well as the stepper class definition. The global variables section contains all the variables that you might want to change. This includes the clockwise and counterclockwise direction variables, a motor step angle which is dependent on your motor, and the digital pins enable direction and pulse. The stepper class that I wrote has these data members. There are three to define the assigned pin numbers, one to keep track of direction, one to keep track of speed and the step angle of the motor. The constructor takes in the pin numbers as arguments and initializes the data members based on the global variables defined above. It also sets a default speed of 60 RPM. The init pins functions initializes the three Arduino digital pins as output. Other notable functions include the set direction, set speed, the step function, and the rotate function. If you guys are interested, here are the two equations that I use. This one relates the motor speed to the pulse speed, and this one relates the rotation angle to the number of pulses. For the example code, I first created my stepper object, which takes in the pin numbers that were defined earlier in the global section. In the setup function, I initialize the pins as outputs, and in my loop, I'm going to be calling the test step function, which is defined here. For the step function, I first define the number of steps. 200 steps, in my case, would result in one full revolution. Then I'm going to call the step function and add a delay of 2 seconds. Since I haven't defined the direction or speed, it's going to take the default values of clockwise and 60 RPM respectively. Here's what it looks like once uploaded. If your motor is spinning in the opposite direction, then you can easily change this by swapping the clockwise and counterclockwise variables found in the global variables section. Next, I'll double the speed to 120 RPM using the set speed method and change the direction to counterclockwise using the set direction method. Next, I'm going to demo the rotate function, which takes in the angle of rotation as an argument. Here, I've set my motor to rotate 90 degrees with a delay of 1 second. Again, it's going to use the default values for direction and speed. Then to change the speed or direction, we'll call the same methods from earlier.
Alright, that concludes this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.